Brett here again from Rock and Roll Resale. I have got a deal lined up right now. It's, I think one town over from me. It's about a 10 minute drive. I found a bunch of cool boats. Basically, um, some of the stuff, oh God, who's the guy from Pirates of the Caribbean? Davy Jones, like his boat and a bunch of stuff. It's these mega blocks, pirates, and this whole lot of stuff that should be just worth a ton of dough. And I'm gonna go get it right now. Okay guys, in the car now, and like I've been trying to tell you before, if you guys are not using Nextdoor, first up, I find all these crazy deals on Nextdoor, and this thing, again, it's the Davy Jones Flying Dutchman ship, it's a mega block ship, a bunch of other stuff too, I'm going to try and do a screen recording with my new phone and see if that'll work to show you what the listing is and what I found. It's 25 bucks cash. I didn't even negotiate. I just hopped on this deal as fast as I could get it. And we sold one of these these pirate ships, I don't know, about a year ago. Parts that Gretchen pulled out of the bin for like 70 bucks. And that's just one of the things I've got here. They've got, they said it's a complete ship and it could be worth a few hundred bucks. So we'll keep you posted here. About five minutes away from the pickup. Getting close. Got In 1,000 feet. Two minutes. Turn left. Feet, actually. Then turn right. Uh, your destination will be on your right. Okay. Like the computer lady said, I should have recognized this road, Wildhurst. We do paddle boarding up here, and this is right on Lake Minnetonka. If you guys are not familiar with Lake Minnetonka and you're not from Minnesota, look it up on a map. And I think they talked about it in Beverly Hills 90210. They were from Wyzada and Lake Minnetonka. Anyway, short story is look at some of these houses in here. This is Bucks. And this is probably why these people don't know what they've got or just want to get rid of it. This house should be up here on the right. Well, I got the goods. Actually, it was this blue house that I went to. A little bit smaller and more interesting than I thought. I thought it was going to be one of these giant McMansions up here on the lake. But super nice gal. Our kids had all these Legos. And she basically was just getting rid of them. She knew they had some value. And these, these boats are, they're not as complete as I thought. And I kind of knew that going in. And then at the very end, um, she said, hey, do you mind if I keep a couple things? And it was uh, some figures from the Flying Dutchman. If you guys know about, these are actually mega blocks too, not Legos. I call them Legos kind of ubiquitously. You guys know about the, like the mini figs for Legos. The, the figures can be worth way more than the ship. So... Um, she wanted to keep all the Davy Jones, uh, Jack Sparrow, and like Will Turner and all this stuff. I was like, oh man, like can we split them? Because I said, honestly, there's probably a bunch of money in those. And I told her about a friend of ours, Michelle, that's a collector um, and has a bunch of Legos. And we kind of know better on some of that stuff. But that being said, okay, here's a sneak peek of what we've got here. There are three tubs full, three of the boats, a couple of the islands. A whole bunch of cool stuff. I'll try to go through some of it at home and show you, but it's it's a hell of a score for 25 bucks. I, I can't wait to see what we've got. Back home with the pirate score. Arr! Guys, there's so much stuff in here. Check this out. This is a little spooky. Ah! <laughs> it's coming apart on me. There are three boats in here, three ships with the mass. Again, I'll dig this out in a little bit. I got actually work that I got to do my A job. Um, here's another smaller bin. The gal thought she had this all separated. So we've got, I think part of the island, there's a fort here, a giant shark, uh, more cannons with like, looks like a spear. Part of a mass, this should probably go here. That guy. And then in here we've got, I think part of the island. There's a skull that goes together, a boat, more sharks. Again, I only got a few of the mini figs because I felt bad. She was having this nostalgic deal. Like, she's <laughs> not in tears, but she was like, yeah, I really want to keep a couple for my kids. And I said, well, geez, they were included and they can be worth a bunch of money. So we ended up splitting them. And I think she took Davy Jones and I got Jack Sparrow. And a couple other guys. Um, there's some more of them down here. So we did get a lot of cool stuff. Again, all this is for 25 bucks. Got some instructions here. This is crazy. I'm going to need to go through this in a lot more detail, but I thought I'd just give you a sneak peek until I can get to it. So after going through the bins here, We've still got a lot of stuff left. 
If you remember from the last part of the video clip, we did have one of these tubs completely full of boats. That thing is empty. The boats are over there. I won't show them to you quite yet, but we've still got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, there must be, well, we've got the set. Instructions laid out here. We've got Mutiny Isle. So that's kind of a smaller one with a cannon on it, like a few few guys, a couple of like, I don't know if they're supposed to be privateers, I guess. And, um, some skeletons. And then we've got Pieces of Eight, which is just a little tiny mini, like two guys stranded on an island. It doesn't look like they're getting along too well. Again, the the skeletons are kind of a theme. They've got a treasure chest. A little, it almost looks like an iceberg to me. And then the next one is Coffer Trap. And a little bit bigger, it's got an octopus with it and a couple more, you know, pieces with it. It's got like a couple drawbridges, more skeletons, uh, a couple more sea marauder guy, and then other sea marauder guy too. Kind of looks like Mr. Clean to me. So here's all the pieces you get with this one. And then next one is a shark. And then I do see one of the big sharks in here. So that's pretty cool. There's a guy actually on this harpoon gun. Let me see if I can find him. This is, this is pretty badass actually look at this guy so that'd be him right here I don't know if that's the right guy I don't see him on here he almost looks like a oh yeah he is uh, that might be the right guy we'll see it doesn't really matter but um, we've also got Smuggler's Fort here and this is it has a lot more pieces with it again more pirates more privateers more skeletons a cannon, bunch of more stuff. And then we also have Privateer's Lighthouse, which I've got part of the lighthouse right here. I pick this guy up. That's part of the top. It's like this section, and then this the upper red section I've got in the BIM. Uh, I do have the dragon. Bunch of guys, too. I'm going to have to see. This one's a lot more complicated. And honestly, I don't really feel like going through all this stuff and trying to figure out if it's all here. So I may just lot this stuff up and try to sell the boat separately and maybe get my money back out of this. Maybe 50 to 75 bucks. Make a little bit of money on that. But here's the real kicker on this deal. This is a bunch of guys too. So there's tons of just pirate guys and the bins are full of them. So we did get three, it looks like complete ships. At least the big parts are here. Now granted, there's probably gonna be some I don't know, you have the little pieces that go here and there and like these little skulls or lanterns. I know this this one specifically. This is the uh, Captain Cutlass Stormstalker. <laughs> it's really cool. There's supposed to be a guy hanging in a cage from the back here, which is like pretty brutal. Pretty brutal torture. Apparently, uh, Captain Cutlass is kind of a no-nonsense pirate. Anyway, um, this one's got all the mass with it. It looks pretty good. It's in good condition. It's got the cannons. All the cannons fire. It's got these cool trap doors. Um, it's got a little shelter right here. They're, all these boats are on wheels, too. So you can kind of move them around. They have shooting operable cannons. Um, the, the big chunks of these are the, just the mass pieces. And then there's like maybe two to three sections you can see right here for each of these, each of these boats. Um, oh, this one's cool, too. So, okay, on to the next boat. This is called Dread Eyes Phantom, right here, and there's kind of a picture of it. And then here, let's get this in front of the in front of this background so you can kind of see it a little bit better. This one is a little bit bigger; it's taller. It's got all these cool built-in kind of skeleton pieces on it. Um, they're really bad, badass anchor here, which I just have it kind of sitting on right here. It's basically like a pelvis and a spine from who knows what. But that's supposed to kind of wrap around here. Um, yeah, there's like a, some chains and stuff. And there's a cool guy in the front right here. And that's got all the sails too. It's got the crow's nest. Now this one's cool because it's got three cannons underneath. You can see that. We're going to spin this guy around. I did notice a broken piece on here. Then I'll have to call out. There's these doors, kind of trap doors right here. You can see this. These open up. There's cannons down in there. Let's see if I can get in there. Yep. There's cannons in there. And this side actually opens all the way up, which is really cool. So you go like this. And this is supposed to be hinged right here. And you can see I took this piece and kind of put it across because it's not 
working like it should. The, one of the pins broke off here. But you can take this, these cannons kind of sit in here. They're on these little pins like that. Um, they're again, fully operable. They've got the, uh, here we can shoot one. Let's see what happens, right? It's supposed to work. Let's try this guy. <laughs> now that I'm on camera, ready? Three, two, one, fire. There you go. Pretty cool. Anyway, so those all work. Um, all the same bullets that fit in the cannons for Captain Cutlass. These are all mega blocks again, so they're all kind of interchangeable, like, you know, poor man's Legos, I guess. Anyway, we've got a couple things probably missing off of this ship too, but it's got all the big pieces. It does have this uh, cool octopus, this guy right here in the picture. There he is. And I think we've got most of the guys. So yeah, pretty cool. Here's the piece de la resistance. Let me get all these other pirate guys out of the way here. We have got the Flying Dutchman. So Davy Jones ship, you guys remember from the Pirates of the Caribbean. So this is the one they licensed. And this ship is super cool. And it's bigger too. It's taller anyway. Yeah, a little bit taller than the other one. Than the uh, than Dread Eyes Phantom. But this has got all the built-in cannons. You know, remember that from the movie. They're shooting like forks and knives out of that. And then all the stuff on top. It does have two operable cannons. I think it's actually got a third too. There's one right here. And that actually goes with a different boat. That goes with this guy. But yeah, this is cool too. It's got all the stuff from the movie. Not as many pieces that, that kind of move on it. Although it's got, you know, kind of more mystique to it. Just based on the fact that the... Uh, it's got the uh, Davy Jones quarters down there with the, let's see if we get a better shot from the back. He's got the organ. I think this was to be a box and it's got the, you know, the flames and Davy Jones quarters and yada yada. And this one did come with, I uh, don't remember this guy's name right here, but here he is. He's kind of that star, starfish guy. I don't know. He's got that weird face. It's kind of a crustacean. And then you've got... Good old Jack Sparrow, so that's him. We've got him with the gun, and then Bootstrap Bill, which I think is down here, and it looks like him. Uh, the gal that I did buy these from, there you go. There's Davy Jones too. He's got the cool like tentacle face, the octopus face. She wanted to keep a couple of these guys, so I, like I said, I begrudgingly said yes, um, <laughs> even though I probably shot myself in the foot. Oh, this doesn't stay up too well either. This this guy here. I might need to be glued down. I might need to call that out in the description. So anyway, got all these boats. Again, all the pirate stuff. Everything you see. Picked it up on, you guessed it, next door. For 25 bucks, plus all this. Plus all this. All that. So I think I'm going to do really well. Again, I'm probably just going to part this stuff out or lot it up. Get rid of it in one batch, maybe double, triple my money. And then this boat by itself, if I can, especially if I can find all the pieces, the little pieces, which I probably don't want to do because I don't think it's going to be time well spent. I've already into this for, oh, probably at least an hour and a half trying to fix all, <laughs> put all this stuff together so I can get pictures of it. I'm going to go ahead and just try to get these boats moved out. I may just lot these up too and, and sell them local. We'll see, because they're kind of a pain in the neck to ship. Again, we did sell one of these before. You can take the uh, the mass off and stuff, and all the big pieces of the hull come apart, and you can get them into a little bit of a smaller box. But um, I think we sold that thing. It only had, like, maybe one of the mass and maybe two of the hull pieces, and that even brought you know, 50 60 70 bucks. And if you get the full boat, it's worth a bunch of money up. Up to a couple hundred, I think, if you've got everything. So, anyway... We're going to do really good on this. If you guys like this stuff, it's a little bit nerdy again, kind of like the D&D, &D, rock the like button, subscribe, and then we'll see you on the next video. If you have any comments or know what's going on with some of this stuff, leave it in the, uh, the section below, and we'll, uh, we'll chat about it. See you next time.